Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Jamie and Eric Show with your with your host Elisa Med, who's his mom, and here's Jamie, very talented spirit communicator. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Lisa. Eric, you can't see so much. He passed away a little over four years ago, but he has his fingertips on a wealth of information that he's going to share with us. The next series of YouTubes will have to do with all the great mysteries of the world. And there's like, I don't know, I probably have a hundred of them, so this might take a while. Now, the first thing I want to ask you about, Eric, is about a map. I've heard of this map before. It's really interesting. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's called the Piri Rice Map, R-E-I-S. Now, uh, it's dated around 300 uh, A.D. And the thing about it is, it's, it's a very interesting, interesting map because it shows South America in a very accurate position in, re, in relationship to Africa. And the western coast of North Africa and Europe and the eastern coast of Brazil are really de depicted beautifully. But I think the most astonishing thing, a partial view of a continent far south where we now know Antarctica to be, yet Antarctica was not even discovered until 1820. The most puzzling is that it's shown without ice in good de detail, yet the landmass has been covered with ice for at least 6,000 years. So that we do know what the landmass looks like, and they betrayed it, even though now it's covered with ice. What's that all about? He said it's not forgery. And by the way, Eric wants to say hi to everyone who's watching, and hi to his mom. Hi, baby. He's sitting behind the camera today, and I hope that he's not going to cause any interference. Yeah, he, he gave you a nice smell to, this morning, didn't he? He did. It, and it's not on me. It was only in the air, like somebody spritzed it like a perfume in the air. Eric, you might want to you might want to consider perfume or roses, okay? He said so that wouldn't be my style. No, it's not your signature. So what's up, Eric? What's up about this map? He said it's not a fraud. And... He, he sits back in his chair and he pulls his arms out and goes, you know, we've all known about strange weather patterns. You know, we, as scientists, can say that the land mass has been covered with ice for X amount of years, but there's always freaks of nature. Like you, Eric. He was doing something similar about you. Oh, that a lot of the history depicts discovering land or land masses with um, power. The, the egotistical uh, knowledge we have now is based on power, money, blah, blah, blah. Because it's just not right. Because we have so much proof that even the Vikings... Uh, we have so much proof that even the Vikings were in the middle of what we call United States today, you know, decades and, and hundreds of years before it was discovered by Christopher Columbus. And he goes, why do we even still use the word discovered by when we had Native American Indians or first land people there for centuries before he even showed up? He said, it's just warped. English language sucks. <laughs> the map, totally a real thing. So, what are you spooked out about? Well, how was it created? It's almost like it had to be an aerial view. Well, maybe not, but it's just, how could it have been that long ago? Mom, think about it. There's so many talented artists. artists. Thank you for teasing me. <laughs> uh, so many talented artists. You don't have to have an aerial view of something to really depict it 3D or even the shape of a large landmass. There's brilliant people out there. And of course, Mom, the people who are interested in even going out and mapping what their environment looks like to that grand of a scale is going to be someone who's passionate and extremely interested about it and documenting it. Are you trying to elude? 
big word. <clears throat> kind of runs his hands through like a girl. Mm. Are you trying to allude that aliens were involved, Mom? Because we obviously didn't have flying ships, <laughs> flying airplanes back then. Yeah, I thought it maybe it's a possibility. Because how could they travel all the way? I mean, what kind of vessels could possibly travel all the way down to Antarctica and all around, all around the world? Dude, Mom, are you kidding me? Boat, man. Have you looked at the designs of ships that they had back then? Yeah, they might have been shallow, which is a little messed up because water could get in very easily. But they had... Oh, are you showing me pictures? Uh, in my head, they look like very long, long canoes, like very oversized, large canoes. And in showing me islands... Um, Oh, Eric, can't you just talk to me and not give me a picture? He's showing me the islands, people that I would say, like on Easter Island, um, you know, uh, darker skinned, like Hawaiian, uh, who could map islands halfway around the world and know exactly when to go and what season because of how the water would roll in or how the water would roll out, like when the storms would come. Because just like we today know when hurricane season is coming, you know, so did they have this knowledge. First of all, why are we even thinking that because people were alive so long ago that they had to be stupid? That our evolution and who we are today is absolutely, <laughs> I want to imitate him, but it's so funny, absolutely wonderful and exceeding the, the knowledge of, of them because well, let's, let's we face it we have radar Eric <laughs> oh my god he goes that's exactly my point because we don't have those radars back then we gained that knowledge internally like birds totally kick ass they can navigate themselves anywhere around the world what makes us think that the human has less knowledge or capability than the bird like Come on, Mom, seriously. Like, you watch your environment. If you didn't have TV, if you didn't have your iPad, if you didn't have your phone, you'd watch your environment. You'd know when the birds come and go. And if you were an explorer, you would follow that migration. you pay attention. That's how well, it works. Is it some, some sort of navigation that's a magnetic, we, you know, is it something, an ability that we don't have now, or at least we don't use now? Like birds, you know, they don't say, hey, which way the wind is, is the wind blowing? Hey, what are you, where are you going, Bob? I think I'll go with you. I mean, how do they manage? The stars. Um, mapping weather patterns. Mapping calendar years. And he said it's all based on migration patterns, star behaviors. What you have talking about this map is like you were so cute, you printed out a copy. How did you know that? That's so funny. Yeah, she did not show me anything. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, he said that it was not done by some interdimensional being. It wasn't helped by aliens. This is very creative, passionate explorers on Earth. This is an accurate map. Well, um, why did they do this? Was there any purpose besides, hey, let's see what's shaking down in North Africa? <laughs> yeah, Mom, it was exactly for that reason. <laughs> oh, okay. Where did they start? He shows me them starting, um, oh my God, I wish I had a map. North north of Europe, not England, east of England. Greenland? It can't be that, I'm sure. Um, the Faroe Islands? He's documenting that region all up there. Oh, so it's, is it um, west of Scandinavia? East of UK, 
Can, is there, can you go north of Scandinavia? Oh, yeah. It's like, that's where Santa Claus lives. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I can't remember, but I don't have a map here. But I think there's like the Faroe Islands. They obviously were not called that back then. but So somewhere in that region, that's interesting. He calls them the, uh, like a frozen boat people. So it had to be a place where there was a lot of winter. Mm -hmm. But he said it was their natural instinct to go out and explore. But he says a lot of what they would do, not... Not many of the explorers would return. Hmm. I bet not. Information <laughs> well, they have gazelle. They put it on gazelle skin, so it doesn't sound like it'd be one of the Polynesian islands. So that, that makes sense. I wonder if they were related to the Laplanders in Finland and, and northern Norway and stuff. Because they look sort of Asian. Anything else on this subject, Eric? On this... He says, estimate. no, I just challenge everybody else to go figure out what what they believe, to go figure out, <laughs> kind of puts his hands in the air. He's being really flamboyant and silly today. Oh. Real loose gestures, like a dancer. I challenge him to go figure out what they want to know, what they want to believe, because, <laughs> oh, yes, that makes up their own truth. Okay. I love saying what you believe in is your truth. I like your jazz fingers, Eric. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I still don't want to go to Antarctica, though. Okay. Well, thank you, Jamie. Go visit Jamie's site at withloveandlight.com. Thank she, you. And definitely check out Channeling Eric with a K. And Eric is blowing kisses to everyone and saying thank you for letting him haunt you. All right. Bye, Eric. Bye, Jamie. Till next Bye. time.